Welcome to Wattage Wednesday. Today I'm going to test these hair dryers and we'll see what the differences are in some of those and we'll see how much power they use. Let's get started. So this one looks like the big one. So a lot of times the number that's on the hair dryer itself would be the wattage that it would have. This one's not the case. So this one says 1900. But when you look at the wattage, it says it's a 1500 watts. So this is saying this is 1500 watts. This one is a son of a gun 1400. And it is 1400 watts on the, on the label. This one's just a travel one, it folds up. This one's a 400 watt. So let's see what they actually use. So we might have some problems with the noise that these, these make. So noise canceling microphone should help take out some of the noise. It might be loud initially, but let's see what we get. So I'm gonna put this on high. I'm gonna reset the meter. And then we're going to see what the meter predicts we're going to spend in cost for an hour. That way I don't have to run these for an hour and then do my own calculations. We'll let the meter do it. We'll just do it for a short period of time. It should maintain the same wattage through the entire use of the hairdryer. So we shouldn't be looking to see it vary. But we'll use the meter here to tell us how much power it's going to use. So this one was 1500 watts. Got it on high fan and high heat. I'm going to hit reset to reset the cost. We're going to look at the wattage. So the wattage is only 1,226 watts. So it's not quite the 1,500 that this is saying. So you might think you're getting a 1,500 watt hair dryer, but you only got a 1,200 watt hair dryer. So it's 1,200 watts. Under the cost section, I will hit the up arrow, and it says it's going to use 24 cents per hour. And that's based on my cost of my house is 20 cents per kilowatt. So this is going to be 24 cents per hour of running. High fan speed, low heat, 684 watts. Go back to the high heat and go to low fan speed. It's still even less power, 545 watts. And then on warm, 319 watts. So let's try this Claro. Son of a gun, 1400. So this one doesn't have the same protection plug. This is just a standard two wire plug. It's not going to be as safe if you were to drop it in a bathtub. Put that on high heat and we'll put it on high air. One thousand one hundred and fifty watts. So again, it's not the fourteen hundred that it says. I'm going to reset it so we can see how much it's going to cost. Twenty-two cents per hour to run. So one thousand one hundred and thirty-six watts. We turn it down to low heat. Seven hundred and ninety watts. High heat again, but low speed. So high heat, low speed. Five hundred and nine watts.
low speed and low heat, 366 watts. I'll try the little guy. This said 400 on the label. And this only has a low and a high and an off. Go on high. Reset the meter. This would cost seven cents per hour to run. So on high, it's using 328 watts. On low, it's using 83 watts. 85 watts. On low, it doesn't really feel like it's doing much. So I could probably use it for me, but I don't know that. Sonya would be able to use it for her hair. Definitely not on low. I know she says this one's not very good for even on high, but she doesn't want to throw it away or not use it. So we just keep it in the trailer. Uh, it's better than nothing. I think on high, that's pretty good. You can go for my beard. It's not like the bigger ones, but so in summary, the hair dryers, there's a lot of differences. You can get big ones that are actually small. You can get small ones that are actually big. Not this one, but you can get them that way. Similar to space heaters. So generally the number that's here means it's a a higher output unit but obviously that's not the case in this one this was 1900 watts in the on the in the name 1500 watts on the label but it only used 1230 watts quite a bit of difference so the higher the wattage the more heat it's going to have or even the bigger the fan it would do better but you can't tell by just looking at them what's bigger or not. So that's where having a meter like this would help. So I'm inside the trailer. I'm running on the battery system inside the trailer. I can run all three of these in the trailer. So my system is big enough to run these. But if you have a portable power bank, you probably would need one of these smaller ones, but you probably wouldn't be able to run it for an hour. So you would not be able to run these big ones on a on a small power bank. The small blue eddy that I have is a 600 watt max output. So these on their max settings could not run on them, although they could run on low, I believe it's low fan speed on both of them and still be just under the 600. But you would probably have to run it on low fan speed and low heat just to make sure you weren't going to go over. Each hair dryer is probably going to be different. So if you have a big hair dryer and you need to use it on a portable power bank, you probably could run it on low heat and low fan speed or buy a little guy like this, and then you can run on either speed. So if you like more videos like this, subscribe to our channel up here and watch more videos down here. Have a good day. Bye.